Kenpachi unleashes his Zanpak toe, the Nozarashi, in my review of Bleach, chapter 577. This week's chapter of Bleach will go down in infamy, for it is the week that Kenpachi learned the name of his Zanpak toe and continued to beat the crap out of the entire Quincy army. This week's chapter was surprising in that it had a really cool reveal at the end with Kenpachi's brand new weapon, the Nozarashi. But like some of the other typical chapters of Bleach, it went by very quick and can be boiled down to a very simple concept, which is Big Meteorite, Kenpachi cuts it in half. But boy, do they do it with some badass Bleach style. Actually getting to see Kenpachi's sword at the end of this week's chapter was a real surprise because a lot of the times when they reintroduce these characters with brand new powers, they never fully reveal their weapons outright. They always like to put them in like in mist or in shadow. And the fact that they showed us that this week I thought was really awesome. So... The Nozarashi, what is it? Well, it's Kenpachi's brand new weapon. It's actually just his Shikai form. And this thing is freaking massive. It's quite an upgrade from his old, long, beat-up sword before. This thing is giant. It's essentially a giant battle axe, which is like three times the size of Kenpachi himself. It has a massive handle, which is wrapped up in cloth, and it has these tassels at the end of it. And apparently it just has a lot of destructive power, so much so that he easily cuts through this meteorite. And, you know, like a lot of the other Zanpakuto, he does have a release form. When he pulls it out, he says, Swallow! Nozarashi! So apparently it has the, bo the ability to just basically eat and destroy and swallow everything. I do like that, uh, you know, sort of allusion to the fact that it's so powerful. It just swallows up everything with its pure power. And otherwise, that's pretty much this week's chapter. It was pretty much just like all shock and awe getting to see everybody freak out with this giant meteorite that's getting ready to slam down on top of them. And that again is just to show us that Gremmy is so powerful that he's not only freaking out all of the Shinigami and Soul Society, but all of the Quincy seem to be pretty concerned about this giant meteorite about to crush their ass. But this doesn't bother Kenpachi at all because he just stole the show this week, especially at the end when you see him posing with his big weapon so casually draped over his shoulder. And just seeing this just makes me realize how much fun it's going to be going to anime conventions and seeing Kenpachi cosplayers try to pull off that big, hilariously awesome weapon. And just, I can't speak volumes for how cool uh, I think the weapon actually looks. And the fact that this is only the Shikai form just speaks volumes for it because... You know, the Bankai could be completely different. It could be similar to Ichigo's, where all of the power gets completely condensed into a very small space. But I don't even know what, like, any of the other abilities of Nozarashi are going to be, aside from being able to cut freaking mountains and meteorites in half. But what I love most about this chapter and seeing it in the ability that Kenpachi has the ability to cut through meteorites, that means that Kenpachi could take on Madara Uchiha from Naruto pretty easily. Uh, just, that would be a dream battle for me. But otherwise, uh, other good things about this week's chapter, there was a small flashback right before he unleashed his Zanpak toe for the first time, all about him not having his name. And it's like right when he unleashes it and says the whole swallow nose Rashi thing. It's just so incredibly awesome. Other things that made this chapter entertaining, of course, was all of the great artwork, especially the character artwork from Kenpachi. I love the way Kubo draws him, especially when he's getting really excited in a battle. There's that one panel where he was getting really, really jacked up and getting ready to fight. And of course, the final panel with his weapon looked really great, had a lot of awesome detail to it. I can't wait to see him swing this thing around with one hand. Badass chapter of Bleach, guys. I cannot get enough of this one. Even though it was a little short, I am going to give this week's chapter a 10 out of 10. I am a little biased because I'm a huge Kenpachi fan. He is my favorite character from the series. But... I love this chapter. If you're following it, you definitely need to check this one out. It is a monumental moment for the series because Kenpachi has a brand new weapon. That's a pretty big deal. He's easily the most physically strong character, I think, maybe at the series in this point. I'm not sure what Zero Vision is truly capable of on Kenpachi's level. Not to mention we still have a few members of the Stern Ritter we haven't even seen. In fact, the leader himself is so obnoxiously strong, we need to remember that. He was able to take Yamamoto out with a single slash... So I cannot wait to see what else Kenpachi is going to do in this arc. And even though his powers were just revealed in full and he has like his cool new weapon and everything, I still want to see Yachiru do something really awesome. I still think there's a lot of potential for her character, especially considering this is the final arc of the series. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. After seeing this week's chapter, God, I want the Bleach anime to come back so bad. Whether it be a brand new final season of the anime, an OVA, or even a movie trilogy for the final arc, I just want to see more Bleach anime so I can see Ken Pachi beating the crap 
Addison Quincy asks. So check this one out, guys. It was pretty damn awesome. So what do you guys think about Kenpachi's brand new weapon, the Nozarashi? Do you like the design? Do you hate the design? Do you think the sword is going to have any other special abilities? And what do you think Kenpachi's Bonkai is going to be? Remember, guys, before you leave, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It's one of the easiest ways to support these videos. And you can subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our latest content that we're reviewing. In fact, I just got done reviewing Soul Eater Knot and Hunter Hunter. You might want to check those out. And you can check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll put links to both of those in the description box below. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out.